Welcome back to Meds Made Easy. My name is Tarun Verma with Telfair Specialty Pharmacy, and today we are going to talk about allopurinol, also known as xyloprim. It's never known as xyloprim, it's always known as allopurinol. It's a very old medication used to treat gout or manage gout. What is gout? Gout is the buildup of uric acid in your body, and it manifests itself in your joints. Generally, you will see it in your big toe or your feet, and then to a worse uh, degree, it'll get into your fingers. So whenever you see people with like, the fingers are kind of like slanted and this and that, that's, that's usually has to do with either really, really bad arthritis due to other issues or due to gout. So how do you get gout? How do you get this buildup of uric acid? So it, it can be linked to genetics. It can be linked to obesity as well. It's the way that your body breaks down certain proteins uh, called purines. I'm not going to get into the, the details, but it comes down to people who um, generally eat a very high red meat diet, seafood diet, a um, lot of beer, liquor, wine. Those things all, if you have a diet high in all of those things, you shouldn't be surprised if you get gout. Um, because all of that causes an increase of uric acid in your body. And your kidneys can only get rid of uric acid so quickly. So when it builds up, it ends up manifesting into your joints. Um, and so what allopurinol does is it blocks the conversion process of preventing essentially the uric acid from being built. And again, I'm not, I don't want to get into the details of how it happens, but it blocks the creation of uric acid. No uric acid, no gout, everybody wins. But let's see here, if you, have, um, if you have a declining kidney function, that can lead to gout. Um, if you take water pills for people who work out or if you're trying to lose weight, uh, a lack of water in the body also leads to gout. People who, you know, you need to be drinking a lot of water. That's one of the biggest, bigger caveats of when you have gout is you need to make sure you drink a lot of water to kind of help flush all that uric acid out of the body. Um, let's see, triggers. Like I said, I've already mentioned a lack of water, beer, liquor, wine, uh, seafood, high fructose corn syrup. All of those have actually been linked to causing gout. And when you have gout, you manage it by reducing the amount of all of those said things I just said in quantity. Now, I know what you're thinking. That is literally the best part of life. Shrimp cocktails, Wagyu beef steak, scotch, a good IPA. Trust me, I understand what you're talking about. What is the point of life? Am I right? But you still have to because this is what happens when you eat, take, eat, consume all that stuff in abundance causes these issues. So you just have to kind of control that. Um, for anybody who has liver issues, you do need to get your liver, uh, liver levels checked. Uh, when you initially start allopurinol, your doctor should already know. They should already be doing it. But if I'm, I'm going to throw it out there just in case a patient goes, hey, I've been on this for like a year. My, my doctor never checked my liver levels. Make sure you talk to your doctor about lowering your getting your liver levels checked. Um, for women taking this, it's generally seen in men, because again, men are the ones that eat a ton of red meat and the, and the beer and the wine and the liquor. Um, but in women who are taking this medication, um, it is excreted into your breast milk. So you need to talk to your doctor if you are lactating, um, whether this is safe to take. Um, and I think beyond that, um, that should cover it again, Gout is really painful, guys. Um, for anyone who's had it, or if any, if you know anyone who's had it, they'll tell you it's a really painful thing. Your, your, your joints get really swollen, they get really big, they get really tender, it really hurts. Uh, if it happens in your big toe, it actually kind of prevents you from walking for a little bit. And so you have to then take pain medications to kind of tolerate it until your body is able to get rid of all that extra uric acid. And that uric acid ends up building into crystals into your joints. So think about crystals fitting into your joints. It sounds like it would hurt and it, it definitely, definitely does hurt. So just be weary about it. Always kind of be uh, watching out for your diet. Diet is really linked to so much in the field of medicine and diseases. You can prevent a lot of diseases by just fixing the way that you eat. Uh, so anyways, I don't want to get into a giant spiel telling you how to live your life and what to eat. I just wanted to kind of throw a talk a little bit about allopurinol and a little bit about gout. Uh, we will talk about other medications when it, when it comes down to gout treatment. There's things like cold crisp, colchicine, uh, things like that. We'll definitely get into those in the other videos. But if you have any questions, please direct them to your doctor, your local pharmacist. 
or give me a call here at Telfair Specialty Pharmacies and talk to one of the, the friendly pharmacists we have on staff or myself in general. I love to counsel people. And again, leave us comments down below. Let us know how to make these videos better. At the end of the day, these are about helping you guys. And if we're not helping you guys, then we're just wasting our time with these videos. So we want to make sure that we can put in what helps you the most, okay? Thanks, guys, and we'll see you next time on Meds Made Easy. Bye-bye.